Euclid's 25th proposition is the converse of the proposition 24. Proposition 25 says that given two triangles whose corresponding sides, two of the corresponding sides are equal and one of the triangles bases is greater than the other, then the angle subtended by the greater side will be greater. So which means if we have these two angles then since this side is smaller than this side that means this angle will also be smaller than this angle or this angle will be greater than this angle because this side is greater than this side given that two of the corresponding sides are equal. Okay, how do we prove this? What we can do is use proof by contradiction. So we assume something and see whether it leads us to a contradiction. So let's assume that uh, uh, this BC is smaller than EF. We can actually say it, but let's assume that it is less than EF. And here the main part of the assumption is that this angle is not less than this angle. Or in other words, this angle is greater than this angle. Let's assume that. Now when we assume that, what are the possibilities? possibilities are that these two angles are equal. So if these two angles are equal, we can say that these two triangles are congruent by side angle side proposition. Remember we are assuming that these two are equal as one of the possibilities. Now if they are congruent, that means BC is equal to EF, but we are given that EF is greater uh, than BC. So which means there is a contradiction. The other possibility is what? Is that this angle, angle EDF is smaller than angle BAC. Now if we assume that as the second possibility, what does it lead to? It leads us to the conclusion that since this is smaller than this, that means the side will also be smaller as part of one of our previous propositions we have proved this. But again we are given that this is greater than this. So in both the possibilities we are reaching a contradiction. So we can say that angle EDF is larger than angle BA. C. So the proposition gets proved that if given two triangles with corresponding sides equal, two of the corresponding sides equal, then side opposite to the uh, 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 larger angle will be the larger side. So that is proposition 25. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF file which describes all the 48 propositions of Euclid's book one of elements. Please feel free to download, refer and share it. That's it for now. Bye.